How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I am Travis, and I am one half of the Cultural Discussions. And tonight, I will be giving my review or my reaction to a channel called The Desirable Truth. Um, I follow his content. I follow his page. He has a lot of great street interviews, and I want the young brother to continue doing what he's doing. He's making a big impact on the Internet. But today's video that I will review is about a couple and they were asked if they had a guilt free pass, would they accept it? And you'll be surprised what was said. Let us take a listen. How long have you been together? Two, Two years. years. How old are you? 26. 22. If she gave you a guilt free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you, you, only, you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife, and this is the wife I want. So no. Okay. Now what about you, if he gave you one? If he gave me a guilt treat pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, we have to take a pause here because there's already high levels of disrespect going on. Okay, the desirable truth asks the young gentleman if she gave you a guilt-free pass, would you accept it? And the young man said no, as he should. Because, you know, us men, we don't cheat. Us men, we are very highly faithful. But the interesting thing is of what his girl said. He wouldn't take the guilt-free pass. But she says that she would. And you can tell that that made the young man uncomfortable. It would make anybody uncomfortable. Any faithful person, this is going to make you uncomfortable. And I'm sorry, young man. If she is willing to take a guilt-free pass, that is not your girl. Let us continue. Sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. But who would you take it with? Um, Lindy Waters the third. Don't even know who that is. That's our problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is that a man or a woman? He's a man. Who else? Um, Barry Sanders. I'm in love with him. We have to stop right here. The disrespect is at an all-time high. She's been together with this young man for two years, and might I add, she's 26 and he's 22. She is blatantly talking about her guilt-free past. She says she's in love with Barry Sanders and she says she's in love with some player from the Oklahoma City Thunder. How disrespectful can you be in front of your man? Some of these women are so disrespectful and they find it funny, but I have to look at the leader. Now, I know that they're not married. I know that they are boyfriend and girlfriend or dating. You know, if you're not married, you're single. I'm not saying that committed relationships don't exist because they do. But let's be honest, if you're not married, you're single. So in a way, I guess <laughs> she has every right to say this because she's not married. But you're not going to be saying this with my arm around your neck. And we've been dating for two years. How dare you disrespect me in front of the world? This is so highly disrespectful and it's not right. But anyway, let us continue. Now, what do you think those men have over your men? What is that? What do you think those men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. He asks, what do these men have over your men? And might I add, these men look nothing like her man. Now, I don't know what ethnicity her man is, but... All I know is she says she's in love with Barry Sanders. That's a black man. And the basketball player who she's talking about, I believe he's like half black, half Native American or whatever. But they don't look nothing like her man. And that would make you feel some type of way. You know, if. Let us continue. This this is this is this is just so disrespectful. But do you think that they would have that's crazy. <laughs> hey, black or white? Um, one is Native American and one's black. But do you think that any of those guys would 
go for you? Uh, Junior would. That's great. Okay. A question was asked. The men that you're willing to sleep with, because that's what she's basically saying. She's willing to sleep with these men if her boyfriend gave her a guilt-free pass. And honestly, he doesn't even have to give her a guilt-free pass. She's already gone. She's already guilty. And he asked her, what do these men have over your man? And she said they're athletic. So is that all it takes? Is that all it takes as an athlete? To take off your garments? This is sick. Let us continue. Because first of all, the boyfriend is irritating the hell out of me. He's not alpha. As soon as she said yes, I would have took my arm off of that woman because she's not mine. She is for the streets. Let's see what else they got to say. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I don't care. You're happy with her as, as she is. Yeah. Hey, but if that were to happen, it wouldn't happen. It's her. Though. It's her choice. I'd rather be miserable than her be unhappy. Oh my God. See, so he's one of those guys. He's one of those happy wife, happy life guys. I'm sorry, man. You are a B word to me. You know, I'm trying to watch my cursing, but you a B and you a P. You have no alpha in your body. So basically, your woman can be sleeping around town and you're going to be okay with it. And really, you the type of guy that I'll probably cry about it too and still try to take her back after other men have ramshacked your woman and once they do that she's not going to come back the same oh my god let's see if there's anything else that this idiotic couple has to say okay i guess that was it but anyway <sighs> ladies and gentlemen stop disrespecting your partner if I was asked, hey, if you if your woman gave you a guilt free pass, who would you be with? I'm not going to say nothing. Even if I wanted to be with a woman, I'm not going to say it. Oh, my God. And if my girl says it. We're done.